Hey everybody, my name is Sarah and on this snowy day today we're gonna go thrift shopping for my Goodbye Dining Room Hello Music Lounge makeover. Today I'm looking for some comfy seating and possibly a very colorful area rug. I'm not gonna worry about styling some of the smaller things for my makeover yet until I have the main layout figured out. So I hope you come along shopping with me and I guess let's get going. I'm at a place that's about 45 minutes from my home. It's an antique store that I've been to one or two times. It's full of a lot of furniture and all sorts of interesting stuff. So let's see if they have anything music lounge worthy today. So for this 31 day challenge, I did put together a mood board for inspiration, but realistically, since my budget is only $200, my motto for this challenge is going to be, if I find anything cool, just get it, Sarah. There's so many cute little things here, like there's this cute little side table here. I was really bummed about this floor lamp over here because last time I was in the shop, I had seen it, but I was shopping for my bedroom makeover, so I wasn't really focused on buying that. So I just walked in the store and I just asked about it and he was like, it just sold. I was like, what are the chances? But there is another floor lamp. It's nice like teak floor lamp. So I think that'll work, but I was kind of bummed about that brass one like that is a beauty of a lamp, but this other one is really cool too. The lamp, so far only the lamp has really caught my eye for my, for my room, but there's a lot of other things that I just have found that are really interesting, but I'm not gonna buy today. But let me know so far, what is your favorite thing that you've seen? So this is the part that I'm excited to show you. It's cold in here, so I'm not sure how long I'll survive, but there's so much stuff. If you, if you remember the rug for my bedroom makeover challenge, I actually found it in that corner over there. Like, how crazy. I never, like, I didn't have my camera at the time, but I kind of wish I had documented that, but it was an epic moment, because I love that rug. I suggest if you are afraid of coming to a place like this because you'd get overwhelmed. Usually what I do is first I'll look around, do a run through and just walk around and look at big things because it's so hard to like process all the little things when there's so much stuff. And then afterwards go through a couple, one or two more or three or four more times and look at the small things. That's usually what I do. And I think it makes it a lot easier. <laughs> All right, so we've just been through Mom's attic, and now there's another room called Picker's Paradise. Come on. I'm lugging my tripod around, and it's kind of clunky, and no one's in here, which is nice. Um, yeah, look at this. There's a lot of little things here. Um, 
so many things. So I think I'll have to come back here after I found all the, like, the main furniture pieces for this challenge, because this is a great place. There's a ton of little small stuff back here, and everything's really cheap. I think I saw everything in here, so let's go where it's warm. All right, so I got the lamp. All right, that's $40, please. All right. Thank you very much. And now I'm just gonna, I guess, go home. <laughs> I don't have any other stops for today. All right. Thank you. Where are you parked, down here? Yeah, over there. Again, my name is Sarah. If you like videos like this, hit the subscribe button. I make videos every Friday, so I'll see you next week. Bye.